Hello there, this is Sharifa. Today I'm going to use a background from the Tom stamp and it's a sunflower stamp. And I love, love the Tom stamp designs. And I'm gonna, I actually did color it uh, using, uh, of course, watercolor paper, embossing powder, and um, the ink tents um, watercolor pencils. As I said before, I love these watercolor pencils. I'm not going to demonstrate how I colored it because I've done that in another video, which I will link at the end of this video. And uh, I will use another layer and another type of paper and I will color the same stamp. Uh, I'll use embossing powder from Lindy's and uh, I'll use villain paper as you can see here. This is the embossing powder, it's called Midnight Bronze and it has beautiful color. I don't know if you can see it through the screen here, but it's kind of a metallic dark color that resembles the centers of sunflowers. So instead of uh, sticking my huge stamp to the acrylic uh, plate uh, in my misty, I did the opposite here and I stick the vellum uh, on the movable part because I was afraid that the stamp is too heavy and it will fall and then I will not get a clear image. I used Versamark as you can see as a, a glue uh, ink for the embossing powder and actually um, reversing uh, the places of the stamp and the paper worked with me very very well so as you know pressure is required and voila you can see um, the reflection of your stamp uh, on your uh, vellum paper so now I'm gonna uh, spread the embossing powder over it and because it's a large stamp I need a lot of embossing powder so I will almost empty um, the jar but of course I'm not gonna use all of the embossing powder on this image So as you can see, uh, when I heat the embossing powder, the bronze color appears and it's not black as it shows in the powder. Um, and make sure that you heat your embossing powder to the required temperature. Don't overheat it nor underheat it. So now I have two layers uh, with the same stamp and I can lay them over each other's exactly. As you can see, the watercolored image now has faded colors or like pastelish. So now I want to accentuate the uh, flower in the center and I want to color it with uh, colored pencils. Here I'm going to use Luminous uh, 1609 uh, from Caran Dash and these are uh, one of my favorite uh, colored pencils. They blend uh, very easily and you can color them and you can feel them. They work just like butter. Some people think uh, their disadvantage is that they come in limited uh, number, I think 76 or something a bit more, but they don't come in a variety like 120, uh, such as polychromos. Uh, however, uh, the ability to blend them can compensate for the uh, decrease in the number of the sets. Using uh, colored pencils uh, on vellum is a really a nice experience and you can try it. And then uh, as a finishing touch, um, I added uh, the uh, Crafter Companions uh, glitter pen and as you can see, uh, it gives a nice effect. So now I'm going to crop uh, both pictures uh, at the same position with a square die. So I moved my frame, which is the square die, around the stamp to see what's the best image. And after cropping them and uh, actually cutting them in a square image, now I'm going to um, just stick them together. My concern now is how to um, 
connect them or stick them uh, without having anything showing beyond the vellum. As you can see, it's transparent, so um, I don't want to put any foam or glue that shows from beneath. Uh, the other thing is that I want uh, to be able to raise the vellum layer and see uh, the watercolored layer underneath. So I don't want it to be fixed. As a sentiment, I use this sentiment from another stamp, from the Ton stamp, uh, which says, May your day be as beautiful as a field of flowers. So I uh, embossed it uh, with the same embossing powder and uh, used um, a rectangular die uh, to um, cut it. And now, in order to fix all three layers together, I used the crocodile and I made two holes and I placed these eyelets and they are in bronze color too. Pressed them with the crocodile and by this I was able to fix the three layers including the vellum without adding any glue or any double-sided foam or even tape. As an embellishment, I used the, this orange ribbon um, at the upper border of the card and uh, I stick it with the tape from the back and uh, it showed as if it's coming out of the eyelets And because I'm using uh, a square background, so I'm going to use a square card. And this one measures five and a half by five and a half inches. And now I'm going to fix uh, my images using double sided foam at the back of the watercolor paper. So finally, as a decoration, I'm going to use this sequence uh, from the Ton stamp, and they don't have a hole. I actually like them, they act like uh, jewelry for the cards. And I'm going to uh, scatter a few of them um, on my card on the vellum. So this was my project for today. I hope you like it. In case you like it, please hit like and uh, don't forget to subscribe by pressing on the red button to see our videos as soon as they come out. Uh, I wish you a very pleasant time and happy crafting. Have a good day.